if I jump from this height, I will fall and hurt myself. But if I use this simple machine, an inclined plane, I will land safely. And I enjoyed this slide too. In this video, we will talk about inclined planes. Watch till the end and I will show you an amazing car jump through ring of fire. A plane is any flat surface and inclined means tilted at an angle. So, an inclined plane means any flat surface with one end higher than the other. If we view it from the side, we can see a triangle. An inclined plane is a simple machine used for raising or lowering heavy or delicate objects with ease. If we are moving something up an inclined plane, then the force required is less than just moving it straight up. If we are lowering something using an inclined plane, then the object will fall much slower than if we simply drop it. You just saw me come down the slide without getting hurt. Let's do a simple experiment to see how much an inclined plane makes her work easier. I have this load which we want to lift up to this height. Let's see how much effort is required to lift it straight up. Our spring scale shows 650 grams. Let's now use this inclined plane to raise the load and see how much effort it takes. Our spring scale shows 250 grams. This means that inclined plane reduced the effort to raise the load. However, this ease comes with a cost. While using inclined planes, we need to move the object to a larger distance as compared to lifting up. We can clearly see that the length of the slope is longer than the direct height till where we want to lift our load. Now, we take the same load and lift it to the same height using another inclined plane. It has a lesser angle of inclination. Our spring skate shows 150 grams. This time the force required is further reduced. However, the distance of travel is increased. Let's now use an inclined plane with more angle of inclination than the previous two. Our spring scale shows about 400 grams. This time the force required increases as compared to the other two inclined planes, but the distance of travel is decreased. If we keep increasing the angle of inclination, the force required will keep increasing and eventually, at 90 degree angle, it would be same as lifting the object straight up. Now we will see some real life examples of inclined planes but before that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe. Do like and share this video with your friends. Inclined planes are everywhere. A ramp and a staircase are simple examples of inclined planes found in most houses. Imagine climbing up and down the walls. Each time we need to go to different floors of a building. That's something only Spider-Man can think of doing. For simple humans like us, we built stairs. If we look at the sideways of a stair, we can see inclined planes. Hospitals also provide ramps so that patients on wheelchairs or stretchers can be moved from one floor to another. Slides are inclined planes used mainly for recreational purpose. A dump truck is an inclined plane. When its container is tilted, the garbage gets dumped to the ground due to gravity. Roofs of buildings in a snowfall area are made inclined so that snow can slide down easily. Let's see some practical applications of inclined planes. 
Our RoboVac could not climb this threshold between kitchen and dining area. It was a bit too high for it to climb. Then we put this wooden ramp and now it can climb up easily. Inclined planes can also be used for recreational purpose. Not just a slide but also for a car jump. Let's watch my cars jump off the ramp, fly through the ring of fire before it reaches the landing ramp.